Well, I believe that she is actually now an existential threat to the SNP and their independence cause. Three questions, all with the same answer. Has Nicola Sturgeon gone beyond the point of no return? Should Nicola Sturgeon show grace and step down? Has Nicola Sturgeon's thirst for power isolated her from millions of Scots? The answer to each of these questions, ironically, is yes. Under Nicola Sturgeon, the SNP have become the pigs in George Orwell's Animal Farm. They continue to believe in a revolution that they themselves have utterly betrayed. In a move so bizarre, it has taken all the focus away from the smorgasbord of shit that is the world today. Nicola Sturgeon has built a hill of sexual offenders and decided to battle to the death in their honour. Even the most William Wallace of wankers in the comments are starting to wonder what they wished for. All I wanted was independence, but it turns out that means I'm a nonce protector. Uh, so uh, bad is her relation becoming uh, as someone wishing to, in a sense, de defend the rights of a rapist to decide he is a woman after he's been charged on two counts and, of course, eventually found guilty. Mm. Uh, that her uh, personal ratings are also falling in that same poll. Uh, and that is going to tarnish, uh, undoubtedly tarnish the SNP and the independence cause. And if, uh, if the SNP members, the SNP politicians had any sense, uh, they would be seeking to change their leader because I think that without changing uh, that leader, they've had their Ratner moment and uh, and and they're they're so tarnished that their votes will think, fall and damage them. Yeah. Do you think Nicola Sturgeon will look back on this now and think, you know what? I have chosen to die on a hill after a long political career, after a political career where, to be fair on her, she has navigated the game of human chess that is the thick end of politics, and a political career that, at times, has brought a tremendous success. She could have had it all. She could well potentially have pushed for some kind of second referendum. She could well have potentially won that. And now, because she has decided, in my view, to back a cause that there's no way she can possibly genuinely believe in, that will be the thing that brings her down. Well, Patrick, humility is not Nicola Sturgeon's middle name. Look, I love Scotland. I love the people. I love that they are different from the English. We are brothers and we are sisters. Because of that, we come from the same family. Politicians, egomaniacs and the mentally ill will come and go. But that will never change.